is Saturday morning. Can you say good morning? This is his favorite place to hang out. I don't know if you've gotten that yet. <laughs> but um, I felt horrible yesterday. Really, really weak and fatigued and kind of sick at my stomach and just not a good day at all. And so um, I laid in bed most of the day. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I'm having such fatigue issues. But anyway, today I'm a, I might vlog a little bit. But what I want to do is take you guys back to October of last year. Um, like I said, I'm going to insert footage from the last year and in, in where I can. And so last night I was like having the fever really bad for camping. Um, as you know, we went on a couple camping trips. And um, we love to camp. And uh, last September, we moved into a 25, 27-foot Airstream travel trailer um, to go small, minimalist. Um, in fact, we really miss it. We were talking about last night how much we miss living in the trailer. Uh, we love our apartment, but it's kind of nice being small in a small area. <laughs> and so... Um, Anyway, uh, I just got to thinking about camping and all about the Colorado Rocky Mountains and all the stuff to do here. So I started looking at other people's camping trips and um, watching some camping vlogs and I got in the fever. And so last night I was just like watching videos one right after the other about camping in the Colorado Rockies and I just got so excited. So uh, I know I had, I had not... Um, I, we, we moved into the trailer last September and then in October we took it um, camping in Missouri to Table Rock Lake um, near Branson, Missouri, uh, my old stomping grounds where I grew up. And so I have not shared you guys with you guys the footage of that. I didn't vlog as extensive as I did the first couple camping trips, but I do have a little bit of footage and some pictures. So I thought I would share that with you guys today. And so we'll go back in October to when we had our camping trailer and we went camping at the lake. How about, what do you think? Yeah? Give me knuckles. Knuckles. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys enjoy it. All right. Captain's log. It's been a long couple days. I'll go back and tell you a little bit about it sometime. But we're getting ready to take off. We're on the road. It's behind us. I don't know if you can see it. You see it? Oh, oh, it's really low though. Like where the hitch is, it's really low. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's not. It's where it's gonna be. That's right. why you have to be. We have been on the road for um, about an hour and a half, almost about an hour and a half, and uh, we've done really well, Hi. except when we pulled into the gas station just now, and he went over a curb with the trailer, but he's learning, I hope, just didn't take a wide enough turn. I think he thought he had it, and he didn't, so that was kind of scary, not scary, but nerve-wracking, but it's pulling real good, he's not having trouble with that, so the truck's still acting okay, so... Little man is tired and cranky. We just stopped to go to the bathroom. Gave him his antibiotics. Let Diva go potty. Diva had to go potty real, real bad. So uh, we're on. Back on the road as soon as he gets back from the bathroom. So far, so good. Say good morning. We are at Cracker Barrel having some breakfast. I'm very sleep deprived. We landed uh, just about 45 minutes before Birmingham. Um, we stopped at about midnight our time, about 11 o'clock central time. And um, we slept at Cracker Barrel in the back of the parking lot. Well, we and stayed at Cracker Barrel. Yep, we <laughs> didn't really sleep much. It's just it was hot and there was no wind or breeze. And so it wasn't hot, it was just hot to not have a breeze or a fan on you. Very humid, 100% humidity. So um, it was kind of a miserable night of sleep. I say sleep, but you know, trying to sleep. He slept pretty good, but I did not sleep, but a couple hours, I think. <laughs> so do you want to chime in on that? 
Listen, is this the bill? This anybody. is anybody. All right. Don't ever dry camp in the South unless it's 60 at night. I mean, like most 60s, high 50s at night. Don't do it. Hot. And make sure there's a breeze wherever you stop. But as far like as like staying here, it was wonderful oh, just to stop and stay. I, I don't regret any of it. I'm learning lessons. So I'm just saying to anybody who's going to do this, make sure there's ventilation. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we needed battery operated fans probably if we we're going to stay yes. that yeah. with that if we humid had that and last warm. Night, we would have slept great. Now, I called the, the manager here last night after they closed and I asked him about staying here. And he was like, Yes, ma'am. He said, um, Just try not to stay close to the dumpster because we're going to be uh, doing something in retail in the morning. We don't want to wake you up. Like, he was so nice about it. So, as far as like staying at Cracker Barrel, I give it 100% A plus, five stars. It just was a little warm, so. All right. Bye. All right, update. <laughs> We are in Mississippi and um, we blew a tire. Um, we have double axles, so it's there's still a tire on that side, but one of the tires blew. It wasn't horrible, like it, it was still out of control and everything, so no big deal. Um, I feel like God has put us in the right time in the right places, though for the things that we've had to deal with, he's put us in the right place in the right time. I uh, found an RV repair center like 20 miles from where we're at. We were at on the highway, and I called him, and he was the sweetest guy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Miss Lynette. He's gonna take care of us. It's a good price, and he's even gonna meet us in town, so we don't have to come any farther than we have to, and put the tire on for us. And um, just so so um, blessed in that. So anyway, we're headed there. We're almost. We're about halfway there, and so we're just kind of driving slow and. Um, not to put any pressure on that other tire that's holding that side up and uh we get the, he's gonna pop that tire on there for us and we'll be back on the road so i feel like could have went a lot worse so it's yeah another little hiccup but i feel like um god has put us where we need to be and when we need to be there at the right time so, and i ain't lost my cool once so anyway um we'll get this tire back on and we'll get back to the highway and we're gonna try to make it to brands tonight if we don't no big deal but we're gonna try to make it all the way tonight so we can just set up camp and uh, relax for a couple of days so anyway i just want to let y'all know what was going on update good morning guys i just want to say hello to all of our friends and family there's the trailer and there's our rig uh, we're just sitting here little man has a new seat we're trying out he loves it he's having some breakfast and playing with his cars let me show you his little seat I picked it up for $10 at a consignment store, and he really likes it. It's sturdy, too. Like, it's really sturdy. So, we're just sitting here. I've been um, listening to some music, and we're just eating our breakfast, and, yeah, having some coffee. Mama having coffee. Mm-hmm. Say good morning, everybody. Say good morning, everybody. No, no, Diva. Say good morning, everybody. You see yourself? <laughs> Alright, just a little update. Sean finally found his happy place. <laughs> the water always rejuvenates him. The water relaxes him, gives him peace. And this is a beautiful lake. That Table Rock Lake. And uh, he just took little man down there to see the water. Steve is going crazy. <laughs> Oh my goodness, he's gonna let, he's taking the shoes and socks off little man and letting him put his feet in the water. Oh my goodness. He's taking his shoes and socks off. He's gonna let him put his feet in the water. I could never do that incline. It's a really steep incline because it's a boat launch. He's letting him put his feet in the water. He took his shoes and socks off. So boat launches, 
so it's really steep down there. He took his shoes and socks off so he could. You think he wants to get in the water? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see him, but Sean's having to take him in the water because he is screaming. He does not want to get out of the water down there. And he's he's got him in about waist deep, I think. But it doesn't make me nervous. Sean is an amazing swimmer and uh, very comfortable with the water. So I'm not nervous at all with Sean being with him. I would anybody else, but not Sean. Sean's about knee deep. And I think little man's about waist deep. These are docks. But it's shallow right there at the beginning of the dock. He does not want to leave. I think that's his problem. He's just crying. Can you hear him? Picture, I'll go, but I'm not looking over. We don't have that to look over. Pretty up there. <laughs> and they do have an elevator. can tell but it's snowing over here. You can see it better over here. Big old fat flakes. I don't think it's gonna accumulate at all but definitely big old fat flakes <laughs> falling. Yeah it's snowing. Like I said, I don't think it's um, I don't think it's gonna accumulate. But I just came in here. I yes, I'm still in my nightgown. I have no reason to get out of my nightgown. So um, I hope you enjoy the clips from our camping trip. Um, can't wait to go camping again. I've got major fever. So when I'm not working today, I'll be watching camping videos. Some of my vloggers. But um, anyway, don't look at my mess. Um, I got these cinnamon rolls here. I'm gonna pop those in the oven, I think. Um, I think that's as big as they get. They're really good. But the last cinnamon rolls I made, I used all of the topping. So I'll have to get creative on a topping. Um, we left, the clip you just saw, we left um, Table Rock Dam. That's where we were taking a family picture, which I'm gonna try to find and insert it in here. And then we were, um, this lighting is not good here. And then we were um, at the like visitor center and that's where little man was playing with the toys and stuff and we were all hanging out and looking over the water. And then we all kind of went our, our own our way home. So it was good. Now, when we left in October, when we left that camping trip, we drove um, to Mississippi or Louisiana, the next clip will show you, um, and spent the night. And then um, we drove on to my brother's because there was a hurricane coming through Albany, Georgia. So we ended up staying a few days actually at my brother's house and got to ride four wheelers and some fun stuff. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit of the footage from that. So we are pulling out, um, it's another hot day of driving probably, but uh, we pulled into this state park last night. It's really pretty. It's called Trace State Park. It's in outside of Tupelo, Mississippi. And so everybody's ready to go. Um, where are we going, Sean? We know we're gonna go to Alabama. So there's a storm, hurricane coming through. It's supposed to affect us. So we're taking an extra day, and we're gonna go to Alabama to my brother's. So that's it. I look hot mess. Sorry. Came in about midnight last night, um, local time, and so we got to go up to the office and pay. So pay for a campsite. It's 31. I looked. I think it's 31. 
so that's it we're pulling out there's the baby see right behind us Does ought to be adventurous, kind of scary. You can hit that emergency. Yeah, but if you can. Oh my lord, somebody pray. And you can do that one by your She doesn't even know how to change gears. And she wanted to ride it. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. She can barely reach the she can barely reach the handlebars. This is a new TV show, Little People on Bikes. It's kind of like looking for Sasquatch. Uh-oh! Uh-oh, she's a dirt demon! Oh, there she is. She's coming around the corner. She's moving her way. Oh my goodness, here she comes at us. The attacking beast. The beast is attacking. It's coming at us. Oh my goodness. So now she's taking Harrison for a ride. Two midgets on the same bike. Or little people, I should say.